The book trade at the beginning of the 21st century seems surprisingly healthy. In the United States alone, about 100,000 new titles are published every year, and most of these books are bought in bookstores. The last 20 years have seen the rise of chain bookstores, that is, shops which are branches of big, often nationwide, companies. In chain bookstores, which operate more like supermarkets than traditional bookstores, a typical paperback will only stay on the shelves for a period of about six weeks to three months. Such stores make money by selling a lot of copies of a very few titles, often offering bestsellers at big discounts to attract customers. They usually don't have many older or slower selling titles, and this, of course, reduces choice for the customers. At first, it was thought that competition from such chain bookstores would lead to the disappearance of traditional bookstores where the salespeople actually know about books and are not content to sell only this season's bestsellers. The traditional bookstore has not, however, been driven out of business by the chains. Instead, a new generation of stores that sell books to enthusiastic book lovers has emerged. Such places which stock an enormous number of books and which feel more like libraries than dynamic sales centers sell not only bestsellers but classic books and serious works from academic publishers. The success of such stores shows that there are enough book lovers to guarantee the survival of traditional booksellers. But how will we all, book lovers, booksellers, and publishers, deal with the book of the future? perhaps with something called publishing on demand. The idea is that a customer will go into a bookstore and be able to look at covers and descriptions of books. If the customer wants to buy an item that's not a current bestseller, the shop assistant will find it on the store's computer, push a button, and tell the customer to come back in 20 minutes. When the customer returns, the book created on the spot by high-speed copying and binding, will be ready to take away. Stores will still have copies of the most popular books on their shelves, but the more unusual ones would only be on the computer. Looking at covers and descriptions of books, however, is not the same as being able to take actual books off shelves and turn their pages. Moreover, the publish-on-demand system works best if you have a particular book in mind, when you go into a bookstore. The traditional bookstore, with its large stock of books of all different kinds, has one great advantage for the customer. Often you may find on the shelves a wonderful book which you would never have thought of buying if you hadn't seen it there by chance. Because of this, it seems likely that neither the traditional book nor the traditional bookstore will disappear in the 21st century despite changes in economic circumstances and in technology.